Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Top back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be reacting to DBG's tier list of the top point guards in NBA 2K21. My team. Now, it is important to note this video came out on Sunday or Monday. So if you don't see any of the newest cards, that is probably why. But I'll go, I'll go over some of the new cards um, where I would personally put them. But still, most of the point guards in the game are on this tier list. And DBG and I are always going to share different opinions or share the same opinions. And so that's part of it. But before we get started, make sure to go drop a like on this video on DBG's channel as well as well as my channel. Make sure to go show him mad support as well. The link to this video will be down in the description. So like I said, make sure to go show it mad love and support. Let's hop right into the video and see where DBG has all of these point guards ranked. Now for me, I'm going to rank them as where I would have them as far as the my team unlimited standpoint so not triple threat because shooting is a little more difficult in that so kind of a my team unlimited perspective is what i'm going to give you so Westbrook. and i'm gonna Russ. put this card it's not worthless by any means especially for my team limited this week he's actually pretty deep i forget about limited we're just talking about my team unlimited probably d but westbrook's he can't not shoot quite fast enough he can't to be shoot at the level of a like Gus Williams. Not even close. Doesn't shoot well enough. He to can't be shoot at all. In line for another possible triple double. Did he just air ball a free throw? I don't think I can put him above D tier. I'm no, sorry. you can't. Like, he can't shoot the ball at all. So you can world. paint it, go under every screen. It's tough. Success with him. No, it's but tough. But there's a lot of just better cards than him. For his oh, value, a ton. He's not awful either. I will admit that. For Russell Westbrook's value, he's not awful. Easy. But you're There's at a lot better 50, value out there. Like mid 50s three pointer, as well as yeah, that. You can't you're shoot looking the ball. A card with no clamps at all and only silver quick for a step. I understand you can add badges, but I'm gonna. I'm, I forgot to say at the start, I'm going to judge every one of these by your base card without adding badges because I think that's how you have to do it so at this point in right 2K. Now. You have to. So you Russell can't Westbrook, add badges right now. Feature. Steph Curry. Steph. He's A tier. Close to S, he's, he's A tier. A -tier. He is not quite that top he tier. He is player. A tier, Again, though. he doesn't have clamps. If you know how to use him. considering putting him down in B tier. It's tough. And the one problem with Steph is he's got cold zones everywhere outside, basically, the three-point line along the top. And you might think that makes a huge difference. The thing it is, does, though. Especially if you're playing in. If you know how to dribble, Steph Curry is perfect for you. My team. Trust me, he's perfect. He misses a lot more shots than you would expect for someone with an 89 rating. I had him fully badged up. Catch and shoot, difficult shots, range extender, everything up to gold. I bought one with him fully badged up, and he still was struggling to shoot. Mm. Like I was expecting That's him to tough. a point guard version on Houston. He really is not. He was very disappointing to me. However, if they do change the hot zones on the 96 overall one, I'm Listen, good. this 96 overall, Steph, hot zones, cold zone, it don't matter. This card is going to be absolutely incredible. Mark my words. Like, I'm straight up going for that card. He is going right incredible. Now. He's going to be incredible. Trust my me. My goal is hopefully, hopefully to be able to get that card. He is going to be absolutely next, incredible. Well, when it comes out, the level 41, by the time of the 250k qualifiers, just strike fear and opposition. So I just realized my face cam might have been covering yeah, part of it. So I moved my face cam to the that. other side. Then um, just so you got, guys can see everything. Eric um, Bledsoe. We've got, what's his name right here? We've got. He's not bad. Eric Don't get me wrong. So he's Eric not Bledsoe, bad. I'm putting him in B -tier. I, I'd probably he's put him in really C. Solid. I'd he's probably put him in solid. C. He's solid. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's but got bronze quick first step so we can go buy people. A he's bit. okay. He's got silver clamps, which is actually. That's a, important. A massive, massive, massive That's thing. important. Trust me. Offensively, he's a little bit limited with only a 73 three ball that's the thing he will be able to he'll um, the, th the big difference between him and russ is if he's wide open he'll knock down a decent percentage of his threes in unlimited compared to russ will not shots and, and see that's the big thing i think shots, steph's obviously a lot open. better so i'd put blood so probably in c like current nba players but he's right up there with the top point guys then we have got Kyrie Irving. Ew, I do Kyrie, not like Kyrie. I'm going to put him one tier below I'd put him Bledsoe. probably C. I would. C. I, would. I don't like him. Give me Bledsoe over Kyrie Irving. I don't I like Kyrie at all. Anytime. I do but not. at the end of the day, Kyrie Irving, he is still a decent shooter. Don't get me wrong. He's still a decent shooter. I just, I, I hate TTO. Kyrie, you man. those fadeaway middies. Even on the that they patched, they patched really, with, with really the shot stick. They patched so everything with the shot stick. I guess they still haven't moved. They still haven't patched moving shots, so... Um, C tier. I I'd be very kind of hesitant to put him above C tier, but I'm gonna. I'd be sorry. I'd be hesitant to put him in B tier. Sorry, but I'm gonna put him in C because I think that's where he belongs. Then we have got Dame Lillard. Dame's is better. Kyrie. Dame's going B tier. 
Dame's Why, close to A, I think. I think he's close to A. He's not he quite A, Steph Curry. He really but he's up there, man. Dame Steph is Curry. pretty good, man. Um, and again, it's just. See, I would have I would have Dame and B and probably Bledsoe and C. That's probably where I would have it right now. Just because like I think Steph's a step so. above. That's really it. He'd be definitely on the upper end of B. Yeah, or the lower I would move. I would move Bledsoe put, down probably, move, but be, I do like Bledsoe more, more than Kyrie. Sure put Lillard, but he'd be somewhere around this tier. Malcolm Brogdon. He's, he's not that bad. Seventy-three-three. He's not worthless. He's Malcolm Brogdon. I'm taking him over Russ, probably. What? Worthless tier. I'm sorry. He's not very good. I mean, come on, man. Lonzo he's not Ball, good. However, C tier. I've never six used the card. Point guy <clears throat> with bronze clams. I have never he used Lonzo Ball. Ball so. Length, good length. Plays lanes. He is a card that I'm really, really impressed with. I really am a fan. He's of a card I probably I should use. Said. Just because I feel um, like he, he has the potential Fox, to be good. Fox is Yaron good. Fox is super good at just blowing by people. He's good. better options. You see, tier. He's not I'm not going to argue that. He's not Dame. Or he's not Dame's level. I'm not going to argue that. Trey Young. Trey Young's like worse Kyrie. Oh, do I? I put Trae him with Young Kyrie, in C or do I put him in D? I would put him with Give Kyrie. I'd put him in Westbrook any day. I'm gonna say I'd put him in C. Trey Young over Westbrook. Oh, absolutely. Any time. Give me Trey Kyrie. Young can at least do something Boy, on offense. Oh, I'm just not. I'm just not the biggest fan of him. Yeah, he's got 27 silvers. I don't think Trey's that range. bad. Yeah, he's got silver range. But I don't think he's that bad. I'd put him in C. Kyrie That's level. my opinion. He'll be in C. Yeah. yeah. He is pretty good. That's what right. I'm talking then, about. Move to C. Basically, Darren Fox. I've not used John Morant John this year. John some things better. Fox does other things better. I haven't. So I can't John argue. Right can't argue with cards I have not used. I really can't. Jablo Trey. This Dame Lillard belongs in this tier right here. That's probably the best in it. There is not that much of a difference between these two Dame Lillards. Trust me. I'd be half tempted to put them in the same tier. I wouldn't. I would never want to use that. Better, so I would never want to use that starter Dame Lillard. Then we've got Ruby Dame is Rondo. better. He is. Rondo. Rondo's I good. Card. Why? You cannot put this Rondo in D tier. There is no possibility you can put this card in D tier. He is better than Lonzo Ball. Trust me. When he is evoed up, he is better than I Lonzo really Ball. Don't. He's he's decent. He's like another. He's B. He's like another version of Mo Cheeks. What's wrong with Mo Cheeks? B. I'll put him B. Yeah, that's where he belongs. I mean, I thought he was going to put him in D for a second. Yeah, he's, he's B. Fine. I mean, he he's, job. he's not as good he's as Steph, but he's here. fine. Yeah, he's absolutely. like Mo Cheeks, but I don't know. I've used Rondo in one game, but I just think Cheeks is better. And I'm not going to argue that. Cheeks with, is good. Um, this Rajon Rondo card. Like, he should be good. I've, I'm going to say this now. I have not used Rondo even up. I have not. Or Rondo he, is he good. I don't know why I thought Rondo was an Evo card. Because Brooke, maybe he is Rondo an Evo poses. card. He Paul is Rondo, an Evo card. Rondo ball. is an Evo his card. Badges, six golds is not a lot at this stage. His clamps badge. Oh, he Rondo is an doesn't Evo have clamps. I, that's what I was like. I'm pretty sure he gets. Let me look. Yeah, I'm Rondo pretty. Stop it! I, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Let's check out my Rondo that is Evoed up. Let's see. DVG is hating on my man's for no reason. Says he doesn't even get Evo. Hey, man. Hey, man, let's see what my Rondo got. He got Hall of Fame pickpocket. He got silver clamps. Rondo belongs to B tier. Come on, DBG. Come on. Come on. Get in the C -tier genre. He has clamps, Me man. Tony Archibald. Tony Archibald's okay. Like, he does a job. I'm gonna, I would like, put him in A tier. You're going to have to put him in A tier. I probably would just because of how by, fast he is. He is like, so he's, fast. He's probably a better Ghost Williams. He's so fast, man. I'll put him in A tier. Bobby Jackson, B tier. Again, he's like, he just burns by people. You can use him to just glitch the TTO defense. I mean, I'm still taking Avery Rondo Johnson, over him. Worthless. Don't ever use Avery Johnson. Imagine having like Avery Johnson. So many times. Mike he's so bad. Ew. He's so, so bad. Rondo, D probably? He's Rubio. down. Or Rubio is who I meant Again, to say. I there is no reason to use ever use Ricky Rubio. There's not, here. but I don't think he's Put that bad. With the rest of them. Ricky Rubio, yeah. I think he's, he's D too. I think he's D. Mark Jackson. You know what? Mark Jackson, C. He's not bad. He's actually not that bad. I don't think I've ever used Again, Mark Jackson. Used him. Just looking at his stats, he's not terrible, though. See, I haven't used we him either. Johnny Moore. Johnny Moore right in the middle. Again, he's qu quite quick. He's Johnny like version Moore. Of Silas, but he is still pretty good. Whoa, whoa, one second. One second. We got Johnny Moore right here. I guess. I guess. Yeah. You know what? I guess I jumped the gun on Johnny Moore. Maybe he's not that bad. Hey, man, I've never used him. Maybe he's not that bad. Yeah, world be free is nice. And maybe he's not. Will be uh, freeze A. He's A. No doubt about it. You cannot go he below can, A. 
Now it's gonna be inter flat, interesting where he oh puts God, fat I because I don't I know. Haven't played, I haven't played with him, but I played against him. And oh, I played with him, and he's and good. I just realized that I've not scrolled up. Um, he's good. I have a worldly free Nate Archibald. Both of these guys A tier. Absolutely. Good. Where's he gonna put fat? Lever. We've got a couple of A tier guys coming up. Fat Lever. He belongs in A tier because of the stats. He's very much like a Gary Payton type player. Yeah, he is. He does the job. His release is terrible he's though. He's a. I'm gonna put him in that. Eight. You have to. I think he's a nice, nice card. You have to. And we got Stefan Marbury, basically Derek Rose. Never yeah, really no used the card. So I'm gonna I have him soon enough, no though. I'm, I'm gonna have him soon enough, and I Where can't he's wait. Out here in a tier. But the thing Paul is, Cousy, the thing right? is, I don't want to apply clamps to a player right now, so Marbury's not gonna be as good as he probably should. Kuzi is ass. No, but he's, he's not worth it. He's by no. He's not worth it, but he's the best point guard we have in the game. You can't really argue against Bob Kuzi being S tier. He's the best point guard we got. Well, Brandon, he's okay. Never like, used the card. Ten. He doesn't do much different than what Gus Williams does, and Gus Williams is just taller. I like, can't really yeah, argue knows, anything. Like, he has a three ball. Uh, do I? I don't know. I just think on his base I'd card, probably put him at A. He's not as good as Stefan Marbury. But c compare him to Eric Bledsoe for a I'll second. Put him at A for now, but I mean, he's one of those that in I just, one two. If we start getting better point guards, he could drop from like A to like below Dame Lillard. Just for right now, the way the game is with no defensive point guards, he's A tier. Derek I can't Rose, argue that. A. A. He's Maybe like even. Marbury. If you want, like, I mean, I'm hot. I can't really separate anybody at A. I'm looking at the rest of the cards. I think I might put Marbury in S. I haven't used I mean, Marbury, Marbury, so I can't really say. Really better Derek Rose. I can't really say, so but if Marbury can Marbury dunk Derek like Derek Rose, Rose like, watch out. Then. I'm, I'm tempted for Tiny Archibald as well. Not gonna lie, I would. I've, I've never used the Evo up, uh, up one yet, but I would relax for now. And it's, um, well, this I would kind just of relax because for now. even though he is very very small, <laughs> Nate Archibald would be small, doing his thing he's though. Be a problem. He can just he's fast. People, but and if you Evo him up, he gets a better three ball. Better but I don't know. I don't know about the regular one. I don't know. No doubt about it. He's oh cheeks. He's so good. Oh, he's, he's not as good as Fat Lever. That's no. the thing. You can't compare him to who's at A tier. But you can't really Fat compare him. He's the best. Upper echelon. But he's one of the best defensive point guys in the game. That 90 and I can't argue that. Easy. Cannot argue that at all. We've got the sniper, Damon Jones, B tier. The best shooting point. You've got to be kidding me telling you. Kelly, me, you got, you're telling me David Jones is better than Evo and Up Rondo. I just don't know what I can say anymore. This year. He do, the dude does not miss. I just don't know what I can say. I mean, miss. I haven't used Koozie. I'm going to say that right now. Kuzi is probably Kuzi better. Is um, it's not even seen close. People use Kuzi and know how good he is. Kuzi is Kuzi incredible. Is a range extender without badges, but he still has clamps. Mike Bibby. Uh, Mike Bibby would be borderline. Like he'd be. I just uh, don't know. He'd be man. borderline. Mike Bibby's so. It's hard to put Bibby or Mo Cheeks even with the guy like Fat. I literally just run into the middle and shoot mid range with him, and he dominates. He like he's better. He's better. A little for me. I don't know what it is. Bibby's release with the off the stick is unbelievable. The stick is dead though just now. Just solely for the fact that he glitches the CPU, and the CPU can't guard him because he's so fast. Gus Williams. I can't argue this. Like all flash he's out I want to argue this, but Gus Williams is tough in this game right now. I, I can't argue, argue this. Are you kidding me? I cannot just me arguing Gus Williams. Williams right I now. can't However, argue that. Mahmoud Abdurrahouf. I don't like this card. Because mid range game is quality. I like Rondo is, more. Once again, nice Rondo player. I like is a guy I like more. I just I'm gonna put him in this tier. I think he I'm, does a job. No quick. I'm comparing a guy that I've used quite a bit with Rondo compared to a lot of guys at B tier, and I might take Rondo over every single one of them right now. Which is a little bit so of a that's problem. That's just my but opinion. I don't think I can justify putting Gary Payton in S tier. I what? Just, he's really solid, but I can't I guess I guess I agree. I agree. S tier is a league of its own. Payton Gary Payton's Payton close to fat lever. They're basically he's, the same player. His defense is on you know, point. No, they are. Tendencies are good. He's Only close to S, farms. though. Still got half pickpocket, though, so gets a bunch of He's steals. close to S. That's all I'm going to say. My my starting point guard, I'm pretty sure. I got my team because I decided just against getting Jerry West. He just was not worth it. And um, Gary Payton is my starting point guard for now. Funnily enough, my backup point guard is... Um, where is he? This dude right here, Mo Cheeks. Mo Cheeks. I know a lot of people who like Mo Cheeks. So I can't. It's not like I could. I can put Mo Cheeks lower because a ton of people like him. Dennis Johnson. He has a sixty-three point. He can't shoot, but defensively, defensively, he's great. Can't shoot. And Jerry West S. I don't think can't argue that. Nope. Can't argue that. 
he's Kuzi, but comes with better badges. Listen, I'll take Kuzi. Like, though. you can make Kuzi better than Jerry West. Like, I'll if take you add Kuzi, badges man, to Kuzi, Kuzi is just objectively going to be better than West. But West has got better I guess, Kuzi, yeah, I guess, I guess. Better badges. Mm-hmm, I guess. Then we've got Jason Kidd. Oh, Jason is Kidd is one. good. He's A, but he's good. put him in this tier right here. He's A, but he's good. Okay, that's the reason is, is that Jason Kidd, Fat Lever, and Gary Payton are you all can't very, separate very them. similar. You level. cannot separate can't any of those players. So I put one over the other. You can't separate any of them. Then we have got Tony Parker. Tony Parker is going... Why do I put him in B tier? He's going C tier. Yeah, he's not that good. Tony Parker is right here in C tier. He's where he belongs. Then we've got John Paxson. John Paxson is a basically another Damon Jones. Absolute sniper. You can use him in John TGO. Well, not this if you're using him in a limit. I don't know if I've ever used him, and to be honest with yeah, you. For me, anyway, His stats look good when I went over the players. Kind of for a lot of people, you can argue, say, Lillard, Kyrie, or any of the fast guys over these two guys right here. I Rondo think. is better than those guys. It's not even comparable. Think, Rondo, I don't know why Rondo is in C tier. Rondo is closer to A tier than C tier, in my opinion. But but it is what it and is. And then man. last up, the most... Or sorry, no. Um, we got Wall Frazier. Wall Frazier is C, like much C -tier. worse. Mo Cheeks. He's C tier. They're There's no, no arguing about it. He's C tier. Better. No argument so, there. Oh, I'd put him in he's C. He's similar man. level to Dennis Johnson, I guess. No. 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 Level. You could argue he'd be lower. I like Dennis Johnson a lot I more can, than Wall. I, I can't. Oh, do I want to put. What is going on right now? Which tier do I want to put Lillard in? What is going on right now? Damian Lillard is not better than Rondo. It's not even comparable. I see, but I might move him to B. And then the most underrated point guard in this game, A tier, Kyle Lowry. Lowry's good. I'm working Lowry up, is good. Um, the rewards, partially to get Kyle Lowry. Lowry Kyle is Lowry good. Is so I'm not that good with his release, but his badges, even his like, release is, is good. The more there is no doubt about it. Kyle Lowry is very definitely good. Definitely a guy that I would suggest. Look, most he absolutely. He's get. incredible. Because you're looking at a car with gold clamps, silver quick first step. Got as well clamps, as he got range. Steps. I mean... And He's um, good. Insane badges. He's got a three-point rating of 83, which at this stage in the game, might as well be 95. Every, he hits everything. I would say three-point rating matters more in this game than I've ever noticed it defense, before. Maybe it's because of lack of badges. Open. I don't know. Yeah, he's not going to dunk, but at this stage, does it matter that much this early in the game? Kind he's of. got bronze difficult shots as well, which means he may not be hitting them in unlimited, but like someone like a Ray Allen. So without question, Kyle Lowry and Kyle Lowry. No arguments there. I I put Kyle Lowry on that level. No, right? no, okay. I I I'll take Fat Lever and Gary Payton over him, but Kyle Lowry is still very good, no doubt about it. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up for those players. Now I'm going to go over two last players that I went and where I would put them. We got Ruby Kenny Smith, who for me I like Kenny Smith. He would be a tier for me. This Kenny Smith can do it all. If you haven't used Kenny Smith, he's a great budget option for a lot of people out there. Isaiah Thomas Diamond. Isaiah, I would probably put an A tier as well. A -t I mean, I can't. I don't think Isaiah can go in S tier. He would be A tier as well for me. So both Kenny Smith and Isaiah would be A tier for me. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. Again, huge shout out to my guy, DBG, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.